main, we have three species of fucus uh, algae. And what we have in front of us is uh, fucus disticus. And fucus disticus is the, uh, the algae that we find out on the wave exposed shores. And if you look, it's got like these finger like projections. These are where the gametes are produced. These are found on a uh, low, low in the intertidal. So a low intertidal, high wave exposure is their preferred location. They have extremely strong hold fasts where they attach to the primary substrata. They're very hard to pull off. So they can withstand really high wave exposure. So that's, this is their, this is their, um, their niche. This is where they live. Nothing that I know of eats them, um, but they provide protection for other species that live underneath them. So on the rock, we'll find some barnacles, some mussels, some snails, and um, um, so they provide protection. Can you show um, me that again? Yes. So Still underneath the disticus cover, we can see on the rock lots of barnacles, and this this red is an encrusting uh, algae, Petrocelis, it's called. And then we have a few Ulva lectuca, sea lettuce. The sea lettuce is food for some snails, Litterina litteria in particular. So although these don't act, the disticus, Fucus disticus does not actually provide food, it provides cover for other organisms to live here. And so that's, that's its purpose in this environment. Um, and whenever we expose something, we always try to put it back so that the creatures who are living here uh, can go back to their, go back to their life. So Fucus disticus, low in the intertidal and high wave exposure sites. Great.